Hey guys, what's up? You might have noticed on YouTube that Insight has been changed to YouTube Analytics. So when you go under your YouTube account and you just click on it and then you hit Settings, you will see this entire page as normal, but at the top you see Analytics. Now when you click this, you will be greeted with a new Analytics message. And this video is just going to cover a great rundown of YouTube Analytics. Partners have had it for a while, so I know what I'm doing when I'm talking about. So this tool is amazing. So let's just get down with a rundown of this amazing tool because it really is very helpful. Hopefully I can tell you how it can help you better and it's just an amazing tool. So let's go over this tour. To get started, go to your Analytics tab. Just click there from Account Settings and this is just going to be a quick tour so you can download the reports you can change the day range and here you just get an overview of your account so like I said you can download the report which they are very nice and detailed reports and I download them for a while have been downloading them for a while you can change the day range this is very similar to CMS on YouTube only you only can see this specific account so if you have C want to be able to access your report, CMS reports within an account that's linked, you can do that now. Now scrolling down, you get some basic overview of your stats, including performance and views, top 10 videos, geographical location of your viewers, gender, you get your playback locations along with your traffic sources. So you get a very good understanding of your viewers and you can learn a lot about them so you can make your videos good for them. Next, let's move on to the next section, which is view specifically. You have views. If you are a partner, you see monetizable views. It's very similar to CMS, like I said. If you are a partner, you will be very familiar with this. Here you have all your views, male, female, who's watching you, if it's male, female, what age group, what country, and things like that, some demographics about your viewers. So it's very helpful, this screen, the demographic screen. I check this probably not the most, but one of the most common things I check is the demographics. Then I, ch I also like to check the play plaque location so you know where people are watching your content and where you're, how they're actually watching it. So if they're watching it on the page, it'll tell you that and wherever else they might be watching it. Now, playback locations is very important, like I already mentioned. I seriously check this all the time. It is very important because I want to know where people are watching it so I can make it better for them. Traffic sources. I want to know where my views are coming from. So this will tell you exactly it, wh where all your views are coming from. So suggested videos are very important. Metadata is very important. So this helps you figure out where your views are coming from. Let's move on to audience reaction and some other things. Audience reaction is basically when you click on the comments or the views on the actual My Video page. You can't click it within going to settings and clicking on audience re retention. And then subscribers is just subscriber information. Like when people subscribed, you have like and dislikes, favorites, com comments, and sharing. So favorites is important, comments is very important and knowing how many people share it is very important. It's easy to access the setting. You just go into account settings. So you just click on your username. So I'm just gonna click on YouTube and click on settings. Like I said, I'm not gonna go over subscribers, likes and dislikes, favorites and comments and sharing because of the fact that subscribers is basically just showing when people that where people subscribe to you, which is very cool. Like and dislikes, which videos have the most likes and the most dislikes. We'll show you that. Same with favorites, comments, and sharing. They're very similar. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you enjoyed it, found it helpful, gave you some information about how to use this. And it's a very interesting tool, very powerful, can help you learn a lot about your audience. Also, it might be important to note that this is the first ever 1080p screencast on TechTube Central. Yes, they're, all my screencasts are now available in 1080p for now on. So if you like that, hit subscribe, thumbs up the video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.